What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite Canon RF lenses ever. The Canon 50mm f1.8 STM lens. I absolutely love this little lens and I'm going to tell you guys why. So just for starters, this lens is made by Canon. It's part of their RF series of lenses. So it's designed to go on the R series cameras with uh, full frame sensors. And it is a fixed 50 millimeter focal length, which means this is a prime lens given by Canon. It's not a zoom lens. It doesn't have the ability to zoom in and out. It's fixed at 50 millimeters. So fixed focal length, you might ask, why would I possibly want that? Why wouldn't I just buy a zoom lens, which gives me a bunch of different focal ranges? And here's why. A zooming lens has the ability to get you a whole bunch of different focal lengths. And that's really, really great. And that's why I would always recommend a zoom lens as your first lens if you don't have anything. However, what a zoom lens cannot do is have a super, super low aperture. And that's where prime lenses like this one come in. So the point of a prime lens is to, is to be able to get your aperture down much, much further than you can with a traditional zoom lens. The zoom lens I'm shooting on right now, which is Canon's 24 to 105, uh, its lowest aperture is f4, which is what I'm shooting at right now. In comparison, this lens goes all the way down to f1.8. If you don't know the difference between the different aperture volumes, it's really easy. Essentially, the lower the aperture number, the more blurry the background of your photo or video. To show you the difference, this is me shooting 50 millimeters on my Canon 24 to 105 at aperture f5. And here's me shooting the exact same focal distance of 50 millimeters except with the background at f1.8. And you can immediately see the difference between these two shots. So one of the big benefits of having that super low aperture is you get this crazy depth of field. The second big benefit is being able to shoot in low light without cranking your ISO up too high. When you crank up the ISO, the whole picture gets blurry. Right now I'm filming in the living room Two of the windows are shut and all of the lights in the room are off. And yet it's bright enough that I'm still able to film this video clip in here, no problem. Being able to film and content and take pictures in low light environments is an absolute game changer. It totally changed the game in terms of what I can film and where I can film because now I'm not limited by a super high ISO, which makes the footage almost unreadable or by trying to drag around lights or use flashlights or all sorts of things. So having a super low aperture lens in your camera bag enables you to get that super nice depth of field like I have right now, and also to film in low light environments without carrying around big heavy light sets. Okay, so all those specs are absolutely fantastic, you might be thinking, but what makes this lens so special as compared to others? And what really makes this lens special and sets it apart is its price point. The average Canon RF lens goes from anywhere from 800 to 1,000 US dollars and even more. Especially lenses that have fixed or low apertures typically cost in the 1,000 and 1,000 plus range. This lens comes in at 150 to 180 US dollars depending on where you buy it, which is absolutely insane for a lens that goes down this low on the aperture. The image quality is razor sharp. It works great for videos. It works great for photos. It's super light and only 160 grams. I think part of the reason Canon actually launched this lens is their previous EF 50 millimeter lens became incredibly popular. It was nicknamed the Nifty 50 lens, a lens that pretty much all photographers and videographers would get and put in their bag because you couldn't beat the price point and then with the launch of their new R series cameras, they eventually launched this lens to replace the EF lens. This one is slightly sharper. It includes the new features like the control ring and it's slightly lighter and more portable. But overall, the idea is the same. You are getting a powerhouse, amazingly packed lens that's a pretty good build quality, is made with great materials and has an F 1.8 aperture ability for a fraction of the cost of a larger Canon RF lens. It's really a deal you can't beat. Now, is this a one and done, fixed all, only lens you need in your camera bag lens? No. 
I would highly recommend that you get yourself a good zoom lens like the 24 to 105 millimeter I'm shooting on right now, or even the 24 to 208, which is absolutely insane. It gives you the ability to have a lot of different focus points, but for anybody looking to get into prime lenses or looking to be able to shoot night photography, uh, low light photography, low light videography, be able to shoot uh, incredible portraits or shoot uh, sort of talking head style videos, you cannot beat this lens. The price point is great. The video and photo quality is great. It's razor sharp and it works incredibly. It adds almost no weight and no size to your camera bag and it's just an incredible deal. I'd highly recommend checking out this lens and uh, getting one for yourself if you're interested in photography, videography. If you like this video, drop me a like, subscribe to my channel, that stuff is super, super helpful, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.